Experimenting. No harm, no foul. Look what I just did. <laughs> I'm Ashley, and I think that all the cool stuff you see online doesn't have to stay online. I'm going to bring one stranger's digital style to life by giving their space a makeover based on their social media. Yes! Hey everybody, it's Ashley, and today we are making over a living room for three roommates. The other day, I got a message on Instagram from Gabriella and her two roommates, Adrian and Ryan. They have a lot of fun, they love to have their friends over and hang out, but the space right now has a lot of potential and a lot of individually cool pieces, but they're not really working together. We're gonna try and change that. Watch the message they sent me and you'll see where we're starting out. Hey Ashley, I'm Adrian. I'm Gabby. And I'm Rai. We just need some help with our living room. We've got some cute furniture, it's a little mix matched. If you could help us, please. we would love that. Pretty please, and the thank cherry you. on top. Thanks. Later. Friend goals for sure, and they seem so fun. Before we get started, let me break down how we're gonna do this thing. First, I'll do some research. I'll use all of my detective skills to find out who they are and what they like. Then comes the makeover. I'll have two days to completely make over the space in a way that perfectly fits their personalities. Finally, the big reveal will show them the new space and see if I was able to translate their digital style into an awesome new room. We have a lot of work to do. Let's get started. So let's start with Gabriella. <gasps> Look at this outfit on a subway platform, looking like a runway model. I see you, Gabriella. A lot of plants and greenery. Okay, looks like she's a plant mom. Plant lady is the new cat lady. Okay, so she has a vintage, a little bit worn in, but very cool curated style. Like she shops at vintage stores, so it seems accessible. When I shop at vintage stores, I come out with like dad sneakers and like Walmart t-shirts, where it's like she finds like custom vintage finds. Let's move on to Ryan. All right, so she works in the food industry. I see a lot of navy blues, blacks, cool, darker tones seems to be Ryan's style. What are her highlights? Afropunk. All right, let's try Adrian's Instagram. All right, ooh, again with some blue velvet. Okay, so a lot of deep, cool colors I've seen across all of their accounts. Cool. All right, I think we are good on Instagram. Let's try Pinterest. It seems like Gabriella is the only one with a Pinterest account. Oh, it seems like she likes neon signs. Oh, they did have a neon sign in their room tour. This Pinterest was major jackpot. I think I have exhausted all accounts from all three girls. So I'm gonna get started on that and then it's time to do this makeover. All right, we are here. I'm really excited, but I also have a lot to do. I've got a list of six projects we're gonna work through to get this makeover done. All right, the first is painting and changing the light fixture. I've got a great gray color for the living room walls. The second project also involves painting. I'm going to make an accent wall over here by using a sponging technique to try and make a marble pattern across that entire wall. The third project is actually something that Chris is making for us and it is a sofa table for behind that awesome couch. The fourth project is upcycling the cube organizer they had. I'm gonna add some details to make it look a little more unique than just an ordinary bookshelf. The fifth project is a pegboard garden wall, which we're gonna put by the dining table and hang some plants from that. And the sixth and last project is a gallery wall above the couch to display all the fun times they've had and all the awesome pictures they have. I'm gonna get started. However, in order to do that, we need to clear out this room. So let's do it. All right, the room is clear. We are ready to start our project checklist. The first thing we gotta do is paint. I've got this really nice gray color, so that's gonna go across all of the walls. And also, I'm bundling into this project, changing out the light fixture. This fixture is very cool. It's got some Edison bulbs. I am letting Chris handle the electrical work because I've got a lot of decorating to do, and I'm just not trying to get electrocuted, you know? All right, you know how I'm always like, oh, I didn't bring a painting shirt. Well, today, we're putting the whole outfit on. I'm gonna look really cute in three, two, one. Cute, ready to rock, ready to roll. No paint on the clothes around here. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, what's up guys? I'm Chris, I'm from Space with the Y. Ashley asked me to take on this project of changing on the light. If it's something that you're not comfortable with doing, it definitely is recommended to hire a professional as it's electric and it could be dangerous. So definitely consult some before you do that. Here in New York, we refer to these lights as boob lights. I'm trying to get rid of as many as possible because there's at least one in every apartment. In this apartment, we change out the fixture with something more modern, new hardware, whole new look. All right, project number one is done, and now it is time for project number two. It is time to start a very exciting project, and that is our marble wall. I got these little squares that basically you paint on if you want to test a paint color. I went ahead and painted one of these the exact color we did the wall, and I'm just gonna test the sponge technique. Let's try this. I'm gonna go in with the dry side and blend it out. It's a little too wet, I think. Let me try again. What if we just do no water on the sponge? Okay, so that's way bolder. Now maybe we go in with the dry sponge with no paint over that. Okay, what do we think about that? Oh, I think that'll look really cool. Let's try this one. I have the sea foam sponge too. Oh, that's it. Cool. Hello everybody from a very tired Ashley. I'm at such a loss, I cannot figure it out. I came back from dinner and it looks so different. Like the paint has dried so dark and it looks like a ugly camouflage wall. It doesn't look anything like marble. I have to figure this out, I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and show you this ugly wall. Are you ready? I'm not. Okay, here we go, we're in it together. Ugh. It's like majorly blown out, you can't see anything. And I'm like, hmm, that looks okay, but it really doesn't. Hang on, I'm gonna flip this around. Uh, ugly camouflage attempt. Like, what is happening here? That is just not it. I'm not looking great, but the wall is. I kind of think I figured it out, at least the texture problem. So this is just looking way better than that. <laughs> yes, no, it, not it. It is day two. I don't know, it could still be day one at this point, they're all blending together. <laughs> I am so tired. I was sponging until an hour that I don't care to admit. The wall is not finished, however, I do have a lock on the technique. It's the wet sponge and the dry sponge going in tandem. Let's finish this wall and move on to the next project. Mm. Hey Google, read my messages. You have four text messages. The first is from Gabriella Lewis. Do you wanna hear it or skip it? Hear it. It says, hey, hope everything's going well. We're so excited. Would it be possible for us to come back earlier? Like at five? <laughs> totally forgot we have to be uptown at six. Do you want to reply, repeat it, or go on to the next one? Uh, no. <laughs> we can't do that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> She's so understanding. That's two hours earlier, and we're already behind. And this wall isn't painted. Yep. And getting all three girls in the same place at the same time. And they're all going uptown. That's insane. Okay, do we have more sponges? Because uh, we're gonna have to get this done, I think. Um, okay, I don't know, I'm not gonna panic. It's gonna be fine. Just gonna take the aggression out on the wall. <laughs> Let's finish this wall and move on to the next project. Chris is gonna get here soon and he's going to continue on this table, uh, the sofa table that he's making, which looks so good already. I am really pumped and I think it's gonna be a good day. My first project today is the sofa table. It was inspired by a nifty project that Ashley showed me before. What we did is we just altered a little bit to make it a little bit stronger, but still using all resources that we had on site. So when I started building it, we just did a simple two by four frame, and we just used some leftover timber to just make some legs out of it, some that would be nice, sturdy, and strong. And then just took some old flooring that we had and layered that on top to match with the table that we're gonna be putting in today, her coffee table, to kind of tie the room all together. Checklist item, done. Yeah, go team. All right, the next project actually involves upcycling one of the things that they already had in the apartment. So that is the cube organizer. All I did was cut some plywood, paint it the same color as the unit, add tiny hinges and a cute knob. It is that easy. I really like this, I'm excited about it, and it's done. 
This next project is something I am really excited about. I was very inspired by Gabriella's Pinterest boards and she obviously loves plants. I was going back and forth between should this be a coffee station wall where we like hang a bunch of mugs and make it look cute or should we do plants? And then I said, why not both? So we're putting the plants in the coffee mugs, hanging them up and making a really lush, nice little garden wall. All right, we are on to our last project, which is a gallery wall. You've probably seen this on Pinterest a bunch, but it tends to seem a little unattainable. It's like, how will I know what it's gonna look like? And here's a really simple way to get this done. Take some brown paper, trace out the frames and the items you have, and then use masking tape to put them on the wall and arrange how you'd like. So you can get really experimental, move it a thousand times, it won't damage the wall. And then once you have a placement you're really happy with, drill straight through the paper so that you know it's going in the exact right place and that everything's gonna look nice and cohesive. All right, the checklist is complete. I am so excited. And now it is time to get to decorating, the most fun part. Can I just say that we are doing this with one minute to spare? I'm just saying, that might be a new space lift record. All right, let's go get them. Scared. Hello! Hello! There they are! Hi! What's up? Are we ready to see the room? Yes! Okay, let's do it. I'm scared, I'm nervous. Right. Okay, I'm gonna position you guys. <laughs> Come this way, and we're walking. Oh my God over this way to the living room. I'm sweating. I know. Me too, actually. I'm perspirating for sure. Open your eyes. Oh <laughs> my god! Are you... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Just not our house. This is our the show. color in the girls, girls, girls sign looks so sick with the wow. hair. I, we could have never done this to the age. But you know what? So much of this stuff is actually yours. Like all this, a lot of this cool stuff on the wall. Those were your gold frames that we found sitting oh, outside before. Yeah. Some of your pictures and a couple things like the clocks oh, are totally new in this. Right. But yeah, your butterfly. That's my mom's license plate. Oh my god. Are you oh, kidding? That's oh, not from my childhood. You? But your Pinterest board was. Oh my. Yes. <laughs> it was like, here's everything we need to do and how you oh. need to do it. <laughs> I love this life. light yeah, so it? much. This is, I think like this like ties all together and you have like a nice <laughs> light fixture. I, I love the I color love so much. This was a process to get this texture. I knew you were doing something tedious when you texted me at like <laughs> seven and you were like, can I stay till 10? I was like, yeah. I mean, she can you sleep can play in my music. bed if you want. I know. Thank you. Hugs, yay! <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Yay! I love this Asuka also. Oh, oh thank you. She's I am so happy that they loved it. I hope that you liked it too. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you don't mind, leave me a comment of a space that you'd maybe like to see made over. And who knows, maybe I might even come over and make over your space one day. How fun would that be? So definitely send me pictures, leave a comment with any suggestions, and also subscribe to the Nifty channel. Don't forget to do that either. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week.